What's up guys? You want to hear my review of the Three Cornered War by Megan Kate Nelson? You've come to the right place. Let's do it. What's up guys? My name is John. I am the Tattooed Historian and I love doing these book reviews and it's been so long since I've done one. But I need to get back into the swing of things. We are right now uh, stuck indoors because we are uh, currently in this COVID-19 pandemic and what better time than now to be reading. And uh, we're stuck indoors anyway, we might, be, we might as well be reading a lot. And I receive from time to time new books from historians from all across the country, sometimes in different countries. And they asked me to review it and give them a review. And I've been so far behind this past winter that I failed to do so. And now it's time for me to really catch up and get back on the ball with it, so to speak. And I started off getting this one from Megan Kate Nelson, The Three Cornered War. And as you can see, it's the, the nice reader copy that you get. It's a paperback and the paperback's not out yet. In fact, the hardback just came out in February of this year, 2020. But I thought, I've never read a book on the far, far west in the Civil War, so I thought this would be a really cool thing to check out. And I was glad to see Megan Kate Nelson out with a new book because I really appreciate her writing. And she's a wonderful person. I met her back in 2013 at a conference in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And uh, she was just a wonderful person to talk to. And uh, hopefully I can get her on the podcast or on a live stream to talk about this book. But again, the, the uh, title is The Three-Cornered War, The Union, the Confederacy, and Native Peoples in the Fight for the West. So you can get this on Amazon uh, right now in hardback edition and Kindle, if you like the electronic version. It's a little over 300 pages. It took me about three days to read, um, but that's very fast for me. And why was it so quick to read? It's because it's so easy to read in that it flows like a work of fiction. Uh, if you think of Michael Shara's classic, The Killer Angels on the Battle of Gettysburg, it's historical fiction, and it goes through different people's points of view, like General Longstreet, General Lee, General uh, Hancock, Colonel Chamberlain. So each chapter is a different person, and you get to go through each person's eyes at that particular time. Some of you have read all the Game of Thrones books. They're the same way. You go through a character's point of view in that time, and then you go forward, but you're going through someone else's eyes, or you're seeing the same event through someone else's eyes. Megan Kate Nelson does that with this book, which is why this book is so easily readable. It flows very nicely, and you have nine different personalities to go through, and they're all from different demographics and they all have different um, ideas on what is happening around them. You're going to be introduced to people who uh, believe in the Confederate cause, you have people who are uh, believing in the Union cause, you have indigenous peoples, you even have uh, the issue of slavery coming up as indigenous peoples are enslaved as well, which is something we hardly hear about. But Megan Kate Nelson really pulls in a lot of great primary sources like diaries and letters to bring this all out in the open. And as I say, it's a very readable piece. What I really liked about it was the fact that it just flows really nicely. You get to see things through different people's points of view and you get to see it in chronological order. So if you're um, enamored with a certain person in this book, you're gonna be thinking, okay, what's gonna to happen to this person? And then you might have to wait two or three chapters before you find out what happens. So what she does as the author is she makes you hold on to the story. You have to think about, okay, what did this person just go through two chapters ago? And how does that influence what they're going through now? And that really makes uh, for a great read because of the fact that you have to constantly be thinking of what these characters are going through, even if they're not in that particular chapter. Uh, they might be in the next one and seeing the same event, but you're seeing it from the opposite side or you're seeing it from a different point of view uh, from an outsider looking in. And I think this is fantastic. And I was really, really pleased with the amount uh, of stuff that goes on in this book as it pertains to the Southwest, because you never hear, really never hear about the Southwest in the American Civil War. 
this takes place in New Mexico territory. So you have the federal uh, army and the Confederate forces battling it out for control of the Southwest throughout this book. Um, and it really shows you that the Civil War isn't just something that occurred at like Gettysburg and, and Shiloh and Vicksburg. It's a national, it's of national scope. It's of continental scope because remember these are territories. Um, these aren't even states yet. And there's a lot of fighting going on in these areas. So the control goes back to the Mexican-American War where uh, all this land is ceded from Mexico in the 1840s after we after the United States defeats Mexico in the Mexican-American War. And so control of this area has to come under the power of someone. And slave states want to control the lower southwest and spread slavery west. Federal uh, forces don't want that to happen and abolitionists don't want that to happen. So there's this power struggle, kind of like what we hear about in Missouri or Kansas uh, between uh, those who believe in slavery and those who do not. And you, you hear about it again in this book. So you're, you're really seeing how wide of an issue slavery is to so many different people. But I really did enjoy this book. There's some great, there's some great uh, maps in here. You have the New Mexico Territory, Arizona Territory, stuff like that. So it's easy to follow. You can guide your way through it. Um, and, and I really just enjoyed the sheer amount of detail. Megan Kate Nelson's writing is, as I said earlier, very descriptive, and she gets you down into the descriptions very well, meaning that you're going to have your senses fulfilled. You're going to be able to see these things in your mind. You're going to be able to smell what's going on, on at that time. You're going to be able to hear the gunfire and hear the echoes and stuff like that. And it's really a, a wonderful book, and I really enjoyed it. Again, if you're in a historical fiction where you're talking about character fiction and you're talking about this chapter is one person, the next chapter is another person, then we go back to that person in the next chapter, you're going to love this book. So even if you're not a very hardcore Civil War person, maybe if you're just into the West or the Southwest, maybe if you're from New Mexico or Arizona and you want to get some local history, you want to try to understand your history a little bit more, this would be a great book for you. And it's one that was really eye-opening for me because the most interesting part for me was seeing how indigenous peoples were enslaved. And and uh, I had never considered that because, um, you know, we don't, we don't talk about that a lot in popular culture. So we have to start thinking about that in a new way as well. So uh, that's just broadened my focus, as we would say on different varieties of enslavement in North America or in America in the 1850s, 1860s, uh, a different form of that than I had ever considered. So it was a really great work in that regard. Again, uh, you can buy the hardback copy of this on Amazon right now. And uh, I don't know when the paperback is coming out. You can also get the Kindle version on Amazon, obviously. Uh, maybe that'll be easier for you right now. And you can just download it and read it today. Again, that's Megan Kate Nelson's The Three-Cornered War, The Union, The Confederacy, and Native Peoples in the Fight for the West. Awesome read. Highly recommend it, especially if you're into historical fiction. You get into nonfiction like this that reads like historical fiction. Guys, you're going to love it. It's a great book. I really enjoyed it. And I hope that Megan Kate Nelson will come on a live stream someday or on a, a podcast. We can talk about it in more detail. Uh, but this one is definitely staying on my shelf. So guys, if you like that book review, there's plenty more to come. I have a stack of books from this winter that I have to go through, that I have to read and enjoy, hopefully, and do some stuff with. So hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Check out this book when you get the chance. I'll have a link for it down below in the, in the uh, comment section or in the description section, and you can click on that and go on over and hit up Megan Kate Nelson's new book, The Three-Cornered War, The Union, The Confederacy, and native peoples in the fight for the West. Take care, guys. Till next time.